My friends, welcome back to Distant Worlds Universe. We're playing as the Slakin, and I'm Lily Fix. Now, I was sending my fleets over to uh, to this region. They they will never reach that. <laughs> oh my god, that's so... Oh, that is not going well. So, apparently, you are going over here to fight this threat. Um, how about you? My colony defense as well. Is any of you still having fuel? Well, not all of them. So, while these guys are heading towards the, um, the Panto Ma uh, Major, uh, my occupation force is going to be sent back home, because uh, they are completely out of fuel. And that speed is... Aye, that is massive. That is annoying. We need to change this. We need to change a lot. And we will change a lot. Uh, I was going to start off by getting to my ships and just assigning them to one fleet so let's go to military ships uh, everything is going to home defense up, uh, apart from the occupation force i would like to get my occupation force still in there just like a normal one so all of you are going to uh, the home defense force this will um, remove the second uh, fleet and we're going to be renaming you in the first fleet <clears throat> I know I know very original occupation force still is going to be occupation force we're going to be changing it drastically um, also I would like to get all of my escorts and all of the escorts are going to be outside of um, mm, outside of the fleet and I was, I was I'm looking quickly for I believe it's the evil scumbag who uh, yeah I know I know and I'm not I'm not calling him names it's his name I can't help it yes the evil scumbag is uh, he advised this and I'm actually that's a really good idea we also are going to be changing all of these fleets so these guys are going to set to none all of them are automatic and this will mean that they will do whatever they please. Also, this one fleet now is almost 2,000 in power. Almost enough to uh, get rid of an empire if we uh, ever so desired. So, oh, okay, with all of that done, let's do an unpause here so we can actually see our income. Occupation force is going back. Uh, now, before I'm getting into um, changing the designs... We are going to go to the Colony Expander. And we're going to be colonizing definitely this planet. So that's a build. And I'm going to be uh, colonizing that planet as well. Uh, reason for it is... Um, we need to expand. Uh, we need to expand a lot. And our planet here is, uh, is maxed. And that's good news. That is great news because that means we're going to be changing quite a few things. Uh, like the tax. Let's set it up to 25. Oof. That might be just a bit too much for them. 22. 20%. There we go. So we're making more money. And this will mean that we can actually afford those colony ships. Ah. Oh. So I'd say, you know what, let the game run on normal speed and we are going to be changing designs. And not just the designs. We are going to add new designs. And we're going to be deleting the escort first. So add a new one. Let's go for a cool look. There is a particular style I like and that's uh, this kind of ship. They, I think they, these are the best looking they, uh, that they've added to the ships. So here we go, you are going to be an escort. And your this escort is going to be named the Evil Scumbag. Yes, because a ship needs a name. I like it to be somewhat small standoff or weapons and fate when cleared. We will need hyperdrives, we need a fusion reactor, we will need shields. And we are going with blasters. I'm going to be changing the entire design, the entire tech tree over here. Um, and it will have uh, some reasons. Let's get point defense on it. 
because it will not get cannons. And I'll explain my, my reasoning for my weapons later. Uh, iron thrusters, I've been told that we need like 15. Directional thruster, we need one. And this is going to be a ship that will go like distance. It will need to go a, a, a hell of a, a, a hell of a distance. So I don't think I have 550, 11 sectors. I think that's more than enough. Maybe a bit more, but it kind of depends on the size. Do we need a cargo bay? No. So let's go with some armor we need as well. We need a command center. Habitability and command center. I know I need more. Don't don't worry. Don't worry. I'll, I'll get more now. There we go. So three on three. And we still have some. Hmm. I would like to get a second blaster. Let's go on to this one. So one more blaster. The shields and armor. Let's go with another armor and... Let's add 10 for now. We'll always uh, destroy or we'll get less if we need to. Maybe we can add a bunch more fuel. Like get it up to 600. The, the, the range is a lot less now. I'm aware of that. Uh, it doesn't have to be because the upgrades are coming. And as soon as they, they, they will be upgraded, this, the range is going to be insane. 10 sectors is, is not as much. Let's see. What is its firepower? It's 10. Ugh. Let's do three. Three weapons on a on an escort. We have two shields. We have a bunch of armor. We have enough of that. So we could. We could. Let's go with a countermeasure systems. As well as a combat targeting system. And Add more fuel. That's only six. So we go to seven, seven seventy. Let's add these two ports first because otherwise it's going to be messy. Let's add a bunch more. Now, these ships are just because we need a ship that can go all the way, have a bit of firepower, and is going to be defending the realm. Yes, defending the realm. I think this looks good. I think this looks great. If it doesn't, let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to change things. Let's get one of these off. So it's 300 and the evil scumbag has been born. Here we go. So if we now go to ships, and we're going to be looking to um, the roll and the escorts. There you go. I want you to retrofit into the evil scumbag. And I want you to do it right now. Now, while that done, we're still going to be doing a lot more. Uh, we need a lot more of these ships. Uh, without a doubt, because we're just losing them left, right and center. And I don't like that. So we're going to be building... We have 21 of them? Really now? Hmm. Let's make another 9. Why am I not able to buy that? Because we're paused, apparently. Yes, there we go. So another 9 will be built. Now, let's go into the tech tree. So, I've been told by, um, by Julius Van Delft that I should focus on two things on, on two weapon types and I've been looking and, 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 and taking a look on what would be a good um, idea and um, where are they I had I had one in my mind one was going to be blasters now uh, but the reason because blasters because blaster face can go against armor so this this weapon would be very effective against uh, armored Targets. Now there was another one and that was um, semi okay. Yes, the missiles because we already have a few. The missiles will do just damage and apparently 
at some point they will do less damage against armor. Maybe the blasters and the rail guns. No, no, 50% less against armor. And these guys are full for armor. I, I think that's a good, a good standoff. They're not ranged. Maybe we need ranged. Maybe we should just go with missiles. Just for the sake of ranged weapons. So at the, at the moment your fleets are just countering each other. You'll see a shit ton of missiles going towards them. And then the blasters come into effect. Taking down shields and other stuff. And, and, and we can just finish them off by, by doing other things. So we'll be focusing on missiles. And we'll be focusing on blasters. No, now we're not. Uh, now we're doing the the efficiency blaster, which is really nice. Oof. So free, and let's go with the bombardment weapons. They're also good against planets, I've been told. So improved missiles, and we'll definitely want to get the enhanced point defense because that's just great against those. But we'll go for the advanced blasters, also for these weapons face beams face beams and point defense so we got five queued up here as for our energy construction and construction um we need that we don't need this we don't need that we will need better engines damn we need better engines i've been such a dumb dumb we are going for better hyperdrives Definitely better hyperdrive. They're, they're a bit faster. Um, they are a bit more costy. And then we're going for... More engines for uh, construction. And then we'll go up to 500. I think that's full enough. High tech and industries. After colonization is done. We are done with colonization for a time because uh, well we can start colonizing like crazy like me and Stellaris doesn't work like that what we are needing is better fuel um, enhanced systems actually I'm still okay by these decisions this will give us better storage and that will increase the range of our ships like crazy and we will need better crew and hunt systems because we will need less of those. And eventually I want to go into like, like advanced medicine and holographic entertainment. Because it will give you a... Here you go, like, like uh, the Wonder. Um, the Coloros Medical Academy provides equal medical training to produce the best physicians in the galaxy, increasing the population growth rate for every colony in an empire. Every colony in an empire. By 40%. And the growth rate by 30%, which is insane. It's really nice. I, I should have taken more time to read through some of these because it's absolutely, absolutely crazy. It's really nice. So, yeah, these are my decisions for now and... They will be there for a long ass time. Apart from the colony, uh, we still have more, more than enough. More than enough. So, the first occupation fleet is going to be slowly heading there. The medium freighter is going to be in for a rough ride. Oh my. Now, hopefully, my fleet will be strong enough. Yeah, here we go. Like, like, they captured this one, bastards. Ah, oh, what a dick move. I don't like it. So, if I go to military ships, we should have a bunch of escorts. Just going left, right, and center. They're not part of a fleet, and they will have um, miss uh, missions. They will just go around the galaxy doing whatever it is they do best, and that is defending... Uh, frigates and, and other stuff but let's go into the next design which is going to be the frigate let's delete this one and the frigate let's add a new one let's go with a coolest design probably the second one in line here we go oh, too far there you go frigate this is my first military ship 
And of course we need armor, we need a command center targeting all of the good stuff, 15 engines. Um, let's go with 5 and 5. Now it, it probably won't get the range as uh, the escorts. Because we want more weapons on these ships. Uh, we need hyperdrives. We need power. Definitely need power. We need shields. Let's do two of them already. The docking bay is for cargo. So uh, if we don't have cargo on these ships, we don't need a docking bay, I guess. I don't know if it's true. Let's go with 10. 10 is not as much as the Escort. It is still going to be enough. And we are getting the point defense cannon. Should we get two? Two point defense cannons. And uh, we'll get two missiles. Four blasters. Uh, is that enough shields? No, we have 29 points remaining. And this is going to be the ultimate, Toby. Um, and I decided that these uh, there's three names that I want to add to my game so far. And if you want to be one of those people, then um, be active in the comment section. That's all I'm asking. And help me. Is there anything that I need? Yes, we need more power. There we go. We got four and seven left. And let's add those with enhanced armor. So, not as much range. But definitely more in firepower. 32 is the firepower of these uh, ships. I have two uh, missiles and four blasters. So let's save the ultimate Toby. And let's head into the destroyer. <laughs> oh man, I'm excited about this. Um, let's add a new one. Uh, of course, going to be a destroyer. Did I add that? Did I add the, uh, the other one over here to the Toby? Frigate. Yes, I did. So, add new. Destroyer. It's going to be this one. Yeah, I'm just going down the line. I, I know. <laughs> I'm not excited about it. Oh, man. Oh, but this is going to be the Julius. Vandalf. The Julius Vandalf. And, and, and actually, two of these three are members of the Discord community. If you are looking for a friendly community just have fun and uh, that's not all about me that's that's not what you want you don't want it. do i add did i add that of course i did i had 15 of those some armor uh but join us join the discord community and um yeah it's going to be cool let's get hyperdrive definitely need two reactors i want two shields uh, let's add 10 of those. It's about the same range because these are will be this will be the military ships and the range will go up once the uh, technology is there. I want to have two point defense. Let's add three missiles. Two of those. No, maybe one. One less. So three missiles, two blasters, some point defense cannons. Um, yeah, we wish we could add troop. We definitely uh, that's definitely something that I would like to do with the destroyer. Just adding um, two hundred or, or so. But I could also just do that with a uh, with a cruiser. So this is optional. Yellow is optional. We have we got way more power than we need, right? Let's go to our reactors. What is going on? What is this? I've been adding power. That makes no sense. You. One less. 47. That's too little. Let's add this up. And we'll add the, the rest again with power. I don't know why this happened. There you go. So, it is a bit of a different design. And we know it doesn't have to be. But I, I kind of like it so far. And uh, definitely the destroyers will get troop compartments in the future. And, and these were almost all of the ships. Now, 
Of course the rest needs to be done as well and we can't even build the cruiser, we can't even build the battleship just yet. We definitely have to change that. Uh, but right now I want to change the way that these troop transports behave. Uh, it has a lot of armor, it has a lot of shields, so much more than it needs. What it will need desperately is uh, more range because my god this is horrible and to do that we're just going to be doing what we did already Ooh, let's not do that no way. add new we're going to be adding the troop transport yeah actually i can live with this one as the troop transport we need a command center all of the good stuff we need 15 engines we will need some life support medical centers Habitability mods, I mean. Hyperdrive. One of these should probably be enough. And eventually I would like to fit the troop transports with bombardment missiles. Because the troop transports are there as well, right? So why not use them? I don't know if it's possible. Let's add two shields. Um, do we need... No, we don't need anything else consider adding armor yeah that that would be nice fuel components let's add two like the fleets I, we don't need our ships to go beyond our fleet now eight sectors a sector is one of these squares right please tell me it is true otherwise i would be so dumb let's add some point defense troop components where are you there you go so that's four. I don't know if it's enough. We'll probably add five, six, seven. Seven troop compartments. 700 troops. I don't think I can add ten. No, that, that's well overboard. So let's do seven and get... Ten armor. We have four points remaining. Let's add one and we'll distract some of the armor. Look, look, it's doing it again! There you go. And this one is going to be... Um, troop Transport. Because I just don't have a name for it. <laughs> That's the only reason. We have more than enough power. We have a better range. The acceleration is not so good because the ship is a lot heavier. But the range, damn the range, so much better. Uh, next episode, guys, we are going to be retrofitting our fleets. We're going to be making sure that our transports are going to be filled. And hopefully we are colonizing to more planets. I hope you've enjoyed. I know I did. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.